Okay, this is the video record of the closet hydroponic grow installation. This is a three by four closet. With a attic trap door in it. Just cleaned out all the shelves, lifted them out, and took it down to just the bare closet. This is where you start. Step ladder in place to install the vortex fan in the attic. This grow room will have a high volume vortex fan on a speed controller that draws air through the carbon filter through the light and then into the attic for odor control during the blooming part of the vent of the uh, grow cycle. In the other parts of the time, it'll just have a small volume fan drawing room air through the light into the attic because cool tube lights don't generate all that much heat if you're using the four or six hundred watt ones and a dimmable ballast. So you cut the light down and you cut the heat down and it's more manageable in the space. This is the three by three Botanicare heavy duty flood tray. This is the Botanicare nutrient tank and the liner for the bottom of the room. And here is the cool tube light, reflective mylar, assorted items needed for the room, the vortex fan, and the new attic hole cover that has two six inch uh, through feed through uh, duct works on it and this is going to be replacing the one that comes in the home which will be set aside to restore the space back to normal later if needed. Okay up in the attic I got the fan hung from the rafters with double double protected heavy nylon rope. There's the fan and there's the exhaust. The exhaust port goes off towards the rotary roof vents to take the exhaust in the grow room straight out of doors. Comes over, comes down directly into the board cut to fit the top of the hole. It's real simple, real neat. Hanging it from the rafters on rope removes the vibration if you screw it to the boards that hold up the rooms then it vibrates real loud and this isolates the vibration and sound quite a bit as does putting a long exit tube out towards the exhaust on the roof. This exit tube also reduces the amount of vortex noise in the fan. Fan installed cord for the fan coming down the wall, motor speed controller right now set to medium and that's all there is above the room. That's your ventilation and your cooling. Mounting the mylar. You need the mylar reflective coating to maximize your light, especially the light that gets down to the sides and the backs of the plants. This is mylar sheeting here I use heavy two mil. The bottom of the mylar only has to come down to within slightly above the top of the flood tray because it doesn't have to go below the flood tray of course and not above the height of the light. So 50 inch mylar works pretty good for most home closet installations. Mounting the mylar is no big deal. It's a common staple gun tack it up there, it doesn't have to be pretty or smooth or anything, it 
just has to be in place, no big deal. Once you get to going, it goes pretty quick and easy. Okay, got a couple more sides installed here. On the way to finishing the mylar part. Okay, that's it. All of the mylars installed on all the sides. Easy, quick, nothing special. Just tack it up and it's ready to go. Still got the door. And next we're going to install the splash guard. This is a 3 mils painter drop cloth that I stapled to the walls slightly above the ebb and flow tray and all over the floor to act as a uh, wetness protection from spills or splashes or any problems to keep the floor and the wall safe from the liquids used in hydrobotics and that will be tacking out on the walls next. Okay, now the painter's drop cloth water barrier is now in the bottom of the closet. And once again, this protects from splashing and spills and all sorts of water problems from damaging the house. Okay, next for your closet grow room, it's time to mount the carbon filter. This is a 22 inch by six inch duct carbon filter. This is for odor control when your plants are blooming. I mount it, but I don't hook it up until I actually need it, preferring to save the useful life of the filter for those times when you really do need it because you have odor control issues. I mount it and get it ready to use, but I only hook it up to the actual light system, light duct system, when there's an odor to control. That makes it last longer, and there's no point in using it if you don't need it. I mount the carbon filter with bungee cords and screw eyes into the reinforced wood framing of the house. Next is the cool tube light install, ballast on a wall, dimmable, 600 watt, dimmable down to 250. Okay, next will be the Botanic Care flood table and nutrient tank. Snug front to back to get maximum growing space, but open on the sides to allow for ventilation. It's important to leave room for ventilation. It's critical. And there you have it, a three by four foot closet in a home turned into a hydro grow room in just a couple of hours.